Oh, I feel like Dean Saunders is dreading this podcast because we've got we, yeah, we've we're, got we're, childhood we childhood friend of Dean Saunders, Ollie James, international DJ and producer. That's your camera right yeah, that's there. My camera. Yeah, how you doing, <laughs> man? I'm good, mate. I'm, uh, I'm really buzzing. Up Get a bit closer to that microphone. So I'm people. really good, mate. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice Honestly, it's just cut it. I need I need to find like a comfortable position because. Uh, Right, is this all right? That's awesome. So, did so, did so you, you two wrong? go to the same school? No, we didn't. No, you went to the Chavi one, didn't you? Are, you, are we going to have this out <laughs> straight away? I'm, I've got a lot of friends who went to Hermitage who will exactly. probably... So what are you going to say about it? I'm really sorry, but there's Parkview and Hermitage and I feel like... Which school was harder? Harder? Physically. Uh, probably Hermit, yeah. Exactly. So, oh, so there's only on. one way to find out. How are you? <laughs> but I feel like now Parkview and Hermit, it's Chesley Street's like it's split in there. It's like Sun in Newcastle, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, everyone gets on eventually. We in the same school year? No, oh, I'm a year older. older than me. I'm a year older. So you, Bammy's an older year older. Yeah. Fucking hell, yeah. you're, you're 39. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. That would make you what? Botox. <laughs> 307. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you first, I'm interested in this, and we're going to do, well, I think we'll do a bit of interplay with this, but when did you two first meet? That is a good question. I don't even know. Do you know? Shite friend. You. I know, I think I, I met- really, I don't remember last week, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, I, did I meet you through Matty Smith and Adam Carr? And then I met you and Dan so. Borman. Was it not uni? When I was living the man about. Oh, but before that, it was because persistence. When persistence first started. Well, Mike, my, my, one of my questions yeah. was going to be: Were you at the first you, ever persistence? I was. I used to work for persistence as well for free. For free, both. To, oh no, I used to pay us twenty quid to stand on the street ah. with a sign. Ah. Ah. Persistence. Well, <laughs> so, this okay. Way. So I always make out that you're a better friend than you are. So when we first started, I had some friends who worked for free for the first few weeks. Yeah. I thought Ollie was one of them, but I just found out he, he got paid. I so. used to do guest lists for like a pound a head, right? Still, still the same crap. Never, never got paid. <laughs> I was never got guest list. <laughs> <laughs> But everything else I've done for you, I have been paid. Okay. I have to say, hand on heart. <laughs> I see what he's doing there. How many people do you think you could get to persistence this Sunday? This oh, Sunday? Yeah. If, if he was on in the cut. If Ollie James was on in if the I cut. If I was playing? Yeah. At least 12. <laughs> Us three. Five. Us three. The rest Zoe. of the group that I got kicked out of. Oh, yeah. So this is another thing Ollie is going to bring up at some point. So I may as well just address it. We've discussed- the pigeon. No, not the pigeon. Oh. Ollie's not going to mention the pigeon. That's the pigeon. Ha- Can we talk about the pigeon? Just, people don't know what the pigeon is. They do because everybody watched the Dan Nightingale episode where Dan Nightingale does a fucking example yeah. of the origami of the pigeon yeah. that you try it to post. It's an origami thing, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but the other conversation was about the committee. So mm. a, a group of friends, we've got the committee group, and I personally thought Ollie should be in the committee chat. Did you say that when it was first launched and you weren't the admin? I wasn't the admin, so I didn't want to... You didn't raise it with the, the admin? I don't raise anything with you the admin. You didn't raise I did, it with the committee? I, I didn't want to get kicked, do you know what I mean? But I'll tell you an interesting story. Ollie, for his mate. Ollie would have been in the committee. We went um, to Napa for my birthday... And Ollie pied it for my 30th birthday. And the reason he pied it is because we got this like luxurious villa Mm -hmm. and Ollie wanted a villa to himself. He refused to come unless he got a villa to himself. Right, I'm, I'm, Please tell me this is true. It is. It is. I'm, I'm an easy guy. Like I, I will just do anything to help me. It's out, right? But the thing is, I don't sleep in the same room as anyone else but Zoe. I can't sleep in the same room as anyone because anyone breathing, I'm up all night like this. Like I get really vexed. <laughs> so I said, look, I'll pay more. Just make sure I get a room on my own. Like, mm. I think that's massive fair. villas out there, right? You can get like he wanted a villa on his own. I remember I wanted a twenty-person villa. <laughs> like what did you get? So I think we got like a twelve, fourteen-person villa in the end. Yeah. But it was a better oh, villa. I can't wait to see it. It's than, than the twenty-person villa. But like, <laughs> it was better than the twenty-person villa. But Ollie was like pushing for the twenty-person one because he wanted his own room and essentially own floor in the villa. He's fuming here. Go and speak. Go for it. Right, so there was one person in the whole thing had their own room. Yeah. Who was it? Dean. My birthday! <laughs> there right. was people sleeping on the floor, people on the couches, I heard. <laughs> this is not I, the case. I think, we'll re- <laughs> I think we'll revisit this, a very interesting relationship. We are best mates, by the way. <laughs> yeah. But I like the idea that there's people that are potentially tuned in at this from all around the world. Yeah, who sorry, were, sorry about that. Who were going? <laughs> who were going? <laughs> Why the fuck start? are they talking about yeah. school? Yeah. What's the pigeon and what's Napa? Um, <laughs> can you do rap gods? <laughs> no. <laughs> By the way, he's doing a really good job at like 
acting like he watches every episode. Whereas in, whereas in fact, he's watched the only episode where I don't speak you, on it and you, he's rinsed us for 10 minutes You caught up before. on the last decade of his life in 30 seconds before we started filming. I did. I'm a big Ollie James fan. <laughs> Which is your favourite collab uh, that Ollie's done in recent years? Ooh. Well, I don't know about a favourite collab, but I do. <laughs> what you got to tell me. You've <laughs> put your fucking beat there, like. But I do like that remix of Miracle that he did recently. Oh, everyone is jumping out the woodwork now. And I know that. who else really liked that Miracle of Remix. I mean, I was re- of re- remix. remix of Miracle. Yeah. Yeah, so I, was, I was remixing what I was saying by accident. <laughs> <laughs> the Remix of Miracle. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Calvin Harris himself messaged you Big saying man. that. I mean, that that deserves a round of applause. That's who's, really no, just me. <laughs> who's taller? <laughs> that's, not, that, that's been rocking serious, <laughs> serious question. Who's taller? Me and Calvin Harris. I've mm. never met him, but I would say him. He's like six, seven, right? Yeah, it's, he's Raj. I mean, I remember when when he DJ with him at Digital. Ooh. He's nobody. He's, he's, <laughs> it's when he put his arms out, like just the when he DJ. Nobody. It's like it's like they went out in like three D screens when they come out. Yeah. Like, I can only imagine they were like you know where the pillar is in Digital. So I can only imagine you could D. touch that. He's. Yeah, because we all, we always debate because I think we're the same. I think we're both six four, aren't we? Yeah. But we Do like you include your hair height, but also our shoe height. We look taller depending on what uh, trainers right, we have. A little bit bigger, so yeah. But his hair's a bit bigger <laughs> as well. So size of them, man. <laughs> but is that obviously that is massive? I seen you obviously posted that on Facebook. Got like nearly a thousand plus likes, didn't it? Everyone's yeah. gone mental, and so he, everyone loves Ollie as well. So he gets loads of support, not just but like not from Dean. <laughs> not just his no, fans but like yeah. all his best mates like everyone in Chester loves Ollie so you get a lot of support with stuff but that that post that he did that, the Calvin one the other day went mental didn't that it? one's the first time that I've ever gone like super mainstream with it because like most of the people that play my music Armin Van Buren yeah I mean have you heard of him yeah yeah you've heard of him probably not right Eminem rap god no <laughs> like Armin Van Buren Hardwell these are massive names right yeah. so this one kind of went over like I mean, Nana knows who Calvin Harris is. Yeah, yeah. So when I saw that, I was like, this is this is mad that he's finally like heard my music. So I mentioned him in three stories, saying, mate, like uh, the remix is doing all right. Nothing. But then eventually, Porter Robinson played it. Nice. In a diner in uh, New York. And then next thing I know, they both follow me. Nice. From that video, because it went viral. So... Yeah. Well, I mean, my, my serious question is, I know recently you've done tracks with Hardwell, Darren Styles, Ben Nicky. Yeah, yeah. One of the massive tracks. Yeah, yeah. But who which which one did you enjoy doing the most? Like which one did you have the most interaction? Like which one leaves you with the most like pride, I guess, would be my answer. Uh, it, it's tough. I would say the, the one with Darren was was next level. Like everybody around here knows Darren Styles yeah. as well. So and with that one he didn't have to do much work. Like I said, mate, I've got this song. It's an old trans classic. I'd love to do it with you. I think it'd be perfect. And he just did five percent on the track yeah. which was just like amazing for me to know that i was like making something he would like but i would say hardwell is is the one that's really yeah, bukens went crazy when that happened yeah and, uh, yeah life has changed a lot since then so because how many have you done with hardwell is it i mean we've done two, two. But we've got like loads of remixes like for ultra we made another remix of an old song um we, we always do remixes together and uh, some of them don't come out it's, it's tough. It's tough with remixes and that, but... Uh, sometimes collabs, for like, for, for like to, to like give a little bit of insight, like sometimes it's tricky with collabs because sometimes the person who does the most work doesn't come out on the flip side with the most credit. Like, so for what That's you're true. just saying there, and I'm not having to go down, I've been on both sides of this. Yeah. You might have done most of the work on that Darren Styles thing, but because he's kind of the name on the A side, he might get a lot of the kind of like credit but he might get a lot of the credence from it yeah. what it seems to be now is nice is that you're doing stuff with Hardwell yeah. and you're getting the credit that's true which yeah. is great I mean I've got I've got something coming out which I'm not going to talk about because I don't want to jinx it yeah as you know with clearance and stuff you'll know this uh, we, we still arguing with the shame and now clear the fucking record Charles what, what are you trying to clear <laughs> the one that you said you liked the other day the one that you like oh, yeah. um, the, to the beat of the drum so I don't even think we should have to fucking clear it with the shame I don't think it sounds anything like move any mountain but we've we've agreed it it's all done like the guy is just dragging his fucking feet with the, the, yeah. the contract at the minute it's like it's coming out on Armada and Armada legal team this morning each, each, they're just emailing him going can you just answer our it's question so, it's so tough like you've got literally like 20 boxes to clear yeah there's like so many steps in making a song. It, it's not just making the track, it's all this other stuff. So this song is with like massive people and it's so like, I'm, I'm so excited by it, but I'm also a bit scared. 
Um, I never believe anything. I never get happy yeah, about yeah, anything until it's out, till yeah. it's done, till it's released. Till well, my it's name is going to be right on the back, like nice. really small. Nice. Get, get us a bit excited if it goes, if everything goes to plan and it goes through. Is it the biggest one you've done yet? Or yeah, yeah, by, by far. Nice. This is, this is like it's a, it's a, a remake of an old song, yeah, which everybody knows. And uh, yeah, it took us thirty. Is minutes. it um, uh, Ecuador by Sash? <sighs> No. <laughs> <laughs> my after- that, that was that was I love uh, that man that's, that's that's a different period in life uh, yeah uh, well we've all made records uh, in the past um so so you so you met not at school you think you met when you bef- but you were go, going out and stuff right it will have been, it will have been going out because obviously again sorry mention it but like what when, when persistence time started like I was 19 you were 18 so we'll have all been a lot of Chesley Street were coming to Persistence every week at the start. So we'll have met through that. And Matty Smith is a good mutual friend of ours. You, I'm sure it was through Matty. You know down Chester's Fabio's? What's the downstairs bit? I saw you and Emilio. And I, I was introduced to Emilio as this, this pot of rich bloke. <laughs> he had a really expensive watch or something. Got a Porsche. Aye, and that's, that's how I first remember you. Well, I wouldn't have introduced Emilio. That it would have been a lot more graphic and, <laughs> and, and insulting than that. Sorry, Emilio. But... Um, Possibly then, yeah, but and then town came after that, didn't it? Yeah, right. Okay, but yeah, then we, then obviously, like you say, there was you, Adam Carr, Dan Borum, and yeah. all work. I love Adam Carr as well, but obviously we don't. I don't personally see Adam as much. I always I see him a lot. Class, he's a lovely lad. Get to speak to him every now and again. Shout out True Paddle. Um, but uh, obviously you and Dan, we've all stayed best mates. Dan's in the committee. <laughs> Sorry, Ollie. <laughs> I'm just so- a bit right. Just just a bit of backstory, right? Have Here we you go. ever been friends with like a group of people? Here we go. And then you find out they've made a different group chat. Like, how does that make you feel? Like, put in the comments, right? It's shit, in it. It makes you feel worthless. I'm going to get cancelled. you yeah. instead. After, after work, like, working for Dean for free for so many years. Mm-hmm. Hold on, didn't you get paid, you said before? You can't edit that bit Eventually, off. eventually. <laughs> standing on a street with a sign saying, come to persistence, Was it, was it right? cold? It was freezing. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was freezing. There's a sad then, music and, on and in then, the background. Get yeah, the sad, yeah, mu- get the sad music on. Left Here left we go. The sad <laughs> music's going, go on. 20 more seconds, finish it. Come on, Ollie. And now suddenly I find myself a group chat down. You know, <laughs> group chat down. It's silent. There's nothing ever comes. It's like, <laughs> I keep checking my phone. Nothing. Someone says happy birthday. A few people say you, happy birthday. Nothing. Can else. we Can we do something now then? Can you get your phone out? Yeah. Uh, go on to WhatsApp. Can you just mute him? And then, then it's all, then it's all, <laughs> it's all fair and square. Do you know uh, what I mean? You're not in a group uh, chat. He's muted. There we go. How long? <laughs> eight, eight hours. Eight hours. Eight <laughs> hours. We'll take. He's so <laughs> needy. <laughs> but yeah, obviously ban- banter aside about that. So like me, you, Dan have stayed really good mates. Obviously a few of the other boys, Yash and stuff. And I think like that, then again, obviously, sorry, I know you're going to go on how we've all met each other, but I just think it's incredible for, for me personally, seeing like Ollie, as he's mentioned there, like he used to work at the start. And then I always remember Ollie was saying like, oh, I'm going to start DJing. Yeah. And again, everyone's got a friend who said that. And then fast forward and I, like, now, like he's bloody world-class, you know what I mean? Like with, with what he's doing and seeing his videos every day, like he's, he's in some other continent around the world. Like I mean, I, I, full of, it's crazy. I, what I think is incredible about what you've done is followed the path which was quite tricky for you to follow I think like you weren't playing a sound that was big in Newcastle you weren't playing a sound really sick it was big in the UK you stuck to it and it's led to like incredible things but you know I've certainly been guilty of it of chasing things which which were kind of in a way maybe a short-term payoff like if you're playing something that's make a record that's big now could maybe help you now and you always stuck with your passion and your kind of music and then yeah. interestingly we've talked about this on previous pods with um castle and that but weirdly things are like swinging back again in a way that like and i'm not going to use words that you might not totally agree with but like the, the sounds are swimming back almost and meeting again like yeah, so, yeah, so you're yeah, almost sure. becoming like i'm sure you're going to get lots of gigs in the uk in yeah. the coming months and years because that harder, faster sound is starting to come back. And you've always had it, just haven't been gigging in the UK with it. Exactly. Like, th- this is a sore subject. Nobody knew I was from the Northeast or even from the UK. Everyone thought I was Dutch. Yeah. And I, I think I've got a bit of an accent now, right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. I always get rinsed because I've got this, like, European accent because I'm around European people all the time. Yeah. My management's from Holland. Everyone I, everyone I know is from Holland, right? So, like, the UK, I always wanted to play here, but... No one gave me a chance. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> my <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the worst thing is had a nightclub and night. No, the, the worst thing. The worst oh. thing is, by the way, I knew what you were doing there, and you two were like waiting. Yeah. I can just see his eyes. I was like, but can, can I just say I'm going to jump in for two seconds because I do yeah. get that, and we've joked well, about I, this. I wasn't ready in all fairness, and it wasn't the style of music that we yeah, were yeah. playing that fitted with what Ollie was agree, playing. Agree. And, and even like daft things, like even like daft things, like when we were at Prees, like every every week at Prees, it would be like Alexa, play Ollie James. Like it would always yeah. be that. You fucked it. Well, I know. Sorry, Alexa. Oh we really need to unplug that. <laughs> no, that one's me. <laughs> this is not That's Ollie James. Yeah. This is a new <laughs> remix. That's Ollie James. This is the song you run about. <laughs> we just, we're, we're, just, to stop that. we're just making you PRS now, mate. I don't I don't stop that. Alexa, stop. So it's that one over there. I swear it doesn't Tim's work, though, if, if you say play Ollie James. No, no, it, it does. <laughs> that Alexa's off. Yeah. But yeah, we, we have it at pre and stuff all the time. I played a pre assistance to be fair. We did, we did, but there was never an opportunity. It was never really an opportunity to get Ollie on. And that's why 2020, 20, uh, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, your mum and dad were there as yeah. well, weren't they? Obviously, Zoe was there, and everyone was like, and Ollie was in in his arena, and it was absolutely rammed. And you saw loads of faces from Chesley Street yeah. there because it came with that, and I loved it. And I think Luke was on the shout out, Luke Krellen. Uh, he was on the mic, and he's going, Ollie, 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 fucking James, yeah. and I, the crowd were going. That now in China, and that I started. Yeah, people, oh. people sing it back. So. But it was, it was. Do you know that was like a mint moment for that? It was like it was a festival yeah, I, that I I've done with one of my best mates there, and we we banter aside. I know you're winding us up there, but like it has always been a difficult, weird subject because you see Ollie touring around the world. Well, look, doing I was going to say I don't see I don't see him repaying the favour. To be fair, oh. I haven't seen I haven't seen you off in Singapore on side of stage. Maybe. Do you know honestly, what I mean? Getting the honestly, private jet try <laughs> private jet treatment. This is also a subject because he offers. <laughs> oh, we're a chance to me. <laughs> it's as if I knew. <laughs> I mean, I've invited him a few times, there, but, uh, but I mean, when it's been countless, op- countless opportunities where I I've invited him, he did invite us, but he didn't offer when me. When did I invite you to? You, you invited me, Dan Boroman, and everyone. I can't remember which one it was, but you put in the Prague, bo- Prague. was it? But the issue Min- was, Min- as well. there wasn't a twenty-room villa that I got offered to myself, <laughs> and I'm a light sleeper, Ollie. He's honest, he's honest. <laughs> uh, let's see, before we do, let's do some questions. We have got some questions coming in from, uh, which I think, to be honest, from me, mum, me dad, Zoe, Zoe's brother, Zoe's brother. We've got some belt. Let's hear. Actually, to be fair, right? Let's, before let's, you, before you do that, sorry, yeah. I know I've gone on for ages, so we don't even get the quick version of. It, but how you were going to just say how everyone had met each other? I was really curious. How did you and Anthony meet each other? Well, I think we'd have definitely met at like the Digi- d- d- Digi- one days, yeah, digital like, sober. Uh, oh, definitely. Oh, okay, now nah, were you going not. out? And he was DJ. No, He's DJ I'd, as well. I'd DJ the goth room upstairs. The rock room. Yeah. yeah, loads of DJs here. Yeah, yeah, loads of us. <laughs> and I think we would. Have, I think we would have met. Like, I don't think we had. Oh, well, they. You, you might not know this. I can't remember if it was you or if it was Emilio. You would if you watched the podcast. One sorry. of them. One of them messaged me like, you know, he always mentions it. So I remember eleven years ago, and they were like, "Oh, do you want to come and play at Persistence?" And I was like, "Oh, thank you very much, but no." For real. <laughs> <laughs> feet too low. Uh, oh. It was more the time that I was going to have to wait to get it. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Context. Personal joke. Personal joke. No truth in that at all. My lawyers told me not to. I thought we, I think we would have met like, like because of digital, because of you taking over digital, like taking over Saturday nights. Yeah. 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 I don't think we had any reason. I never DJed for you at any other point. And I wasn't of that kind of, like age where I'd have just been out in persistence begging you to get in for free or anything. Um, no, well, I knew who you were, obviously. Like, I used to come to Digi. All the as a, as Felix Leiter. Twat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard good things. It wasn't until I met you until I realised you were twat. And then, obviously, we took uh, Digi on in 2016 and me and you just became, like, future love. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah. And I probably beca- looked up to you. Like, you were you were one of those... Oh, here we go. Nice one. One of, the, one of those big men in town, like, actually doing... What, what, you what, also what went wrong? You, were, uh, <laughs> ne- you discovered Mick the oils. <laughs> but then, then you started releasing on, on big labels. I was like, whoa, I'd love to do that one day. But, so, uh, but I love, uh, obviously, we had um, Casso and Dara on recently and also Morgan and nice. also TD said it as well. Like, I love when people... Morgan should remix my tune, actually. Right, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. when we, we, we picked uh, Dara and Casso up from the airport and obviously we were talking about Felix and I mentioned, obviously your song and they were like what I was fucking playing that last night like yeah. obviously everyone's going nuts for your song at the minute I think that's really a nice moment everyone that comes on the pod oh, gentlemen more beers out or oh, neck oil sorry do you, um, want a mis- do you want a mystery drink because I was going to do this feature I, one, but I really need a piss can I go 
go, mid, go, mid pod. Go, go for a piss. We'll edit it. <laughs> We've never done it before. There's a loose cast first. Someone going for a piss during the pod. Don't kick the camera. Let's do this. <laughs> right. I was going to do this as a, as a section. Go on then. But, um, do, you want a mis- do, you want, do you want a mystery drink? I'd love one, mate. Because I've got... It depends. Right, I've got four cans. Oh, that's oh. right there. They're all uh, non-alcoholic. They're all sugar-free. That's good. Uh, and they are four different flavours. I can see a little bit inside here. Do you want one, Dean? Yeah, uh, yeah. shall I like... Take not- your pick. Right, with it. I know what that one is, because I can see it. So you don't. don't. Really? You don't. We started again, by the way. Yeah. Oh, we're back on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, back on? Well, we had to stop. stop we had to stop because someone's got a weak bladder. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? What do you do on DJs? Like long DJ sets? I'm fine. I'm fine. Honestly, right. it's okay. the neck I've never, oil. I've never had to stop, but I only play like an hour and a half, though. To be fair, right. The neck oil's gone. Do you through. always go for like a preset piss? Of course, yeah. Do you do a, I have do you a, do a preset, sit down? Preset tab. Do you no, sit I down? Because I, I think if you sit down, you get thirty percent more out. <laughs> I sit down on a night. Right. And sometimes through the day. But before it's a, a treat, set. Isn't it? Sometimes yeah. you just want to sit on a I floor. just like to sit and read and just like have fun. And you sit back the front less messy. Lots of <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. I'm a pigeon and then I sit back to front nice. so I get the angles right. What is the, what is the pigeon? Dean? Do you know when you were saying about podcasts where they have like silences? We've never had so many silences until Ollie came. We've had more silences and pisses than our whole right. 31 pick, pods pick, before this. Pick a mystery drink. Right, okay. Well, that one I thought was going to be Coke Zero, but right. you're making me think it isn't, so... Still going to do it. Okay. <laughs> uh, pick, uh, pick, hand them over to Ollie. And What's can the writing pick. on the bottom I saw there? I've got, I've, I've written numbers on the bottom oh. so that I can then know for sure and tell you what flavour it is. I'm not stitching anyone, by the way. There's nothing rancid here. There's nothing alcoholic and they're all sugar free. They're just, I went to my local corner shop and I picked I four. I see what kind of bad lads these are like. Do you have like rags like American ones? <laughs> these are proper swarwell top. Right. Shops. <laughs> are we going for it? Go for it. Uh, I'm sorry. I hope there's one I two. There's one I really hope you get. Is it alcohol or not? No, no, no. All, no. no all, alcohol free, Can sugar free. First? Yeah, of course. That's quite nice. What do you think it is? I have no idea. <laughs> Do you got bubble gum, have you? What, it's num- not that I can see the blue top. <laughs> right, fair enough. It's a bars bad lads. Isn't That's it? a yeah. bars, yeah. 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 bars. What do you? He, doesn't, see, doesn't taste sugar free. See, he's never had a bar. No, they're all sugar free now. Promise. Promise. Right. What do you think it is? Shit ton of sweet. I honestly don't know, but it's it's like the vegan sausage roll on the last episode. I, I love Change it. Change man. Right, we'll keep drinking it as we go on. Um, no, right, so I've got some questions for your fans. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you. Um, in fact, no, you. Aren't you asking that top right one there? Oh no. Top right. Why do you get this? Like I'm the only one that can read. <laughs> <laughs> I and, 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 and as you did on the NATO podcast, shout out NATO, uh, tune in that if you haven't seen it. Yes, I. Uh, read out the, the name of the people who were sending the messages as well. It's 59p. NATO really loved that, didn't he? Oh, so, yes, I. If, I pronounce, <laughs> it, if I pronounce it right, uh, Zion underscore Alvarez are you says, guys? Are you aware of Z- Z- Yep. Yeah, <laughs> nice. What is the strangest thing that has happened to you with a fan? <laughs> it's, it's either he's laughing because he's got a good answer or he's going well this guy called Dean right did the pigeon in front of us it's going to be something how am I going to how am I going to bring Dean into this <laughs> honestly like hey, I'm a fan you, you've got to realise most of my fans are in Asia right yeah so they're, they're pretty I mean they bring me stuff like so if they turn up at your door you know you've got to be worried that's that's a little bit intense yeah, yeah. I see them at my door we've got a problem <laughs> but like the last show I played I was in uh, Shanghai two weeks ago and like Loads of people, back, I always bring people backstage. Like I want everybody to feel like special. Cause I'm like, I'm that kind of guy. You are? Yeah. And they all had these printed pictures, like of me from Instagram ages ago, random ass pictures, not like me press pictures or anything. Yeah. Just weird ass pictures. And I was just signing them for about 45 minutes. Amazing. You know, we, like they've obviously gone on Instagram, downloaded shit. Any like pictures. really old ones from like 10 years ago? Where you're not, like, not that right. bad, not that bad, <laughs> but like canny old, like just, like what, what I want to know is what they're doing with that afterwards. Yeah. Because it's not like, if it's just me sat on a night out or something, like you're not going to put that in your room with me signature on it. Well, this is really weird because I bought something off the <laughs> internet. <laughs> <laughs> so, like there's, there's never been any any proper, proper weird people. Yeah. I will say. Like my manager's always, he's, he's always on point. So if anyone's weird, he would. <laughs> Fair. Uh, what's the weirdest thing that's ever happened with uh, one of your fans, Dean? 
I don't have any fans. Yes, you do. The only fans I have are fellow, fellow Middlesbrough you, fans. You could you like, say you've got only fans. You've got uh, Nosh fans, right? Nosh fans. Nosh fans. <laughs> 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 context, by the way. <laughs> context. Well, context needed. No, context 100% needed. We're on about Notch's opening soon, as we all know. And he was like, the aunt, he was like, oh, you're you the head chef at Nosh, aren't you? Are you the head nosher? You're the head, head nosher. nosher mate, <laughs> yeah. Two hand jobs, man. <laughs> I don't know if this is a joke question or not, but I really like it. So I want to ask it. Elliot Wilde asks, what is your favourite rave inflatable? Oh, I like that. What does that mean? Does that mean something more than it's, I'm aware of? It could be, but uh, honestly, I've never seen one. Not once have I seen an inflatable at me show. Or actually, right. I don't know where I was, but there was like big, like big ball things, and I've been clattered a few times with them. It's re you're really skits now because when you get hit with one of them things, yeah, it's really embarrassing. Uh, like uh, really embarrassing. I was gonna say, as, as when you when you're performing and you and you and you're DJing and people have got them, do you hate them? I always heard that like DJs hated the big but balls because like they get my kind of. Raves wouldn't have that, you know what I mean? Have yeah. you ever seen one? Um, I mean, like, the, one of the things that, like, this isn't really, this is definitely not the same thing as your shows, but when I used to do the Academy, and Mike one day had a really, it's probably where I got the idea for us, one day I had a really good idea of doing, like, a city string fight, like, in in, in the uh, Academy. But then I was just like, oh, great, now yeah. you've just given everyone ammunition. Do you know what I mean? DJ. Like, to throw back at us. And to be fair, right? no yeah. one threw any back at us. But um, I do remember... Uh, Joey Essex getting mercilessly bottled um, when he got brought out at the academy. Like he, he got like quite a really? lot of v VK really? VK bottles were getting thrown at him, and he was just like, "Why are they throwing bottles at me?" And I was like, what "Have you watched The Only Way Is Essex?" Yeah, yeah. Uh, we done a Super Bowl party at the academy. Yeah, and people brought the own American footballs with us. Uh, it was only a matter of time before one of them came help. flying towards. Were like, <laughs> fucking stupid. Oh, uh, I'm not going to try and read out the person, but when will oh, we be seeing you? All right, then. they sound like they sound like a character from Game of Thrones. Uh, Tarconia asks, "When will we be seeing you in New York City?" I'm assuming for a gig, not just on holiday yeah. with I'm your like pals. A couple of years, yeah. not like or on your Instagram <laughs> photos. <laughs> The US is like a completely different market, just like the UK. Mm. Like I burst into the UK now. The America is a completely different thing. But I think with the way the sounds go, I would say hopefully in a few years. It's, it's also tricky different. as well with visas. Something that people it's, it's expensive. <coughs> yeah, might not totally realise is like if you're going to properly officially go and DJ in America for money, you need you need a good yeah. tour going. Yeah, yeah you need and a visa. You need a proper visa. And where are you most popular at the minute? It's hard to say, mate. World worldwide, isn't it? <laughs> that's a nice flex. It's a nice flex. That's that a nice I flex. Say, I, I would say Europe is is the, like <laughs> all all the countries in Europe. Are Please clip that, by the way. <laughs> uh, Asia as well. I've always been big in Asia because I'm massive. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I'm physically massive and people love that. Yeah. Even though if they didn't know me music, like they found it hilarious to like take photos with us. And I'd walk through the street and people just like staring at us and want to take photos with us. So that obviously helped, but now they know my music and stuff. And it's been a sound that persevered in Asia in, yeah. a, in a way that like in Europe it changed. Mm. Like, and that sort of harder, faster stuff, it's definitely, and again, I'm trying to stay away from genre specific yeah, yeah, definitions. Some people understand. But, but, but that, kind of, that, that kind of sound at festivals definitely stayed stronger in, in Asia than it did in, in the UK for sure. Like when it, when, I mean, obviously Electrica, which you would have probably come to when we were running it. But when that sound stopped in the UK, it stopped hard and it, it stopped did. fast. Like, okay, Gary. I don't know why I kept doing it, honestly. I mean, it was good, but I, since the past few years, since I've changed my sound, like I will, I don't want to big myself up, but the sound I'm making now honestly works everywhere. Yeah. It'll work in the US, it works in China, um, it works in the UK really well. It works in Europe as well. So I wish I'd done that sooner. And how would you describe that then? I try to stay away from those those descriptive words, but how I would, would you say, honestly, just rave music? Like right. I, I would say like strictly, I'm more towards techno, I would say, but I'm not a techno DJ and I'm, I'm not yeah. trying to be. I'm an EDM techno guy, which is frowned upon, let's say, but it works for me. Yeah, uh, I can change my sets a little bit, but I, honestly, if you've been to one of my shows, you'll understand, like I make sure everyone in that place, whether you know me or not, like enjoys himself. So I play the ones you used to listen to when you were young and, yeah, it's, uh, I just make sure everyone enjoys it. So, right, Dean, Dean, I've let Dean um, read that question. It's only like about well, it's, it's only about five words long. What I'm going to ask him to do is repackage it and ask it as if it's like a, f a question from a lifelong friend, which he purports to be. Right. So, just imagine that you're asking your lifelong friend a question that is you should know the answer. <laughs> Actually, you, you ask it and then you answer it with what I would say. 
So, so hold on. So <laughs> he thinks I'm trying to stitch him up. Because uh, yeah, so he knows so little. He thinks I'm, I'm trying to stitch him up. So I'm really confused. So I'm just going to interpret <laughs> what you said and just go for it. So message from Georgie, boy. Uh, he's called George Thor, but we know him as a lifelong friend as well. Yeah. I, I'm, I know what you're saying. I'm doing it him as that, but I'm just interpreting it this my home way. Anyway, so Georgie boy, our pal, he wants to know, Ollie lad, what's your plans for the rave room recording going forward? And if you're recordings going forward, do you know if what you want me to been... answer it for you, like you said, yeah, you I would say it. I'm massive worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Questions anyway. about me. Or <laughs> yeah. else, right. So anyway, what's jo- it about? Plans for rave room record recordings going forward. Yeah. So what? What's rave room recordings? It's what Ollie's going to answer now. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so it's me record label, right? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> That's why I, I knew it was something like that. So I did, to be fair, I didn't know that. But that's why and I was trying to just. Shaman's full no, I was just, you didn't know that. Just he's just it. asked when they open in the fucking noshes. <laughs> <laughs> don't <laughs> let him, <laughs> don't like make me feel guilty. You were opening something. Uh, well, I knew oh, uh, you did music and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did know what he was trying to do. Right that's why I'm, trying. I'm not speaking until he does rap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job you said until he did the pigeon because it would you would release <laughs> rap god a remix of rap god if he rapped on it and you produced it on rave room recordings. Oh, There's too many legal things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how good he is. I would have to hear it. You're gonna have to show us. We'll show you the episode. Yeah, <laughs> then you can watch a second of our episode. Okay. So for for the real fans watching, what are yeah. your plans? Um, so the label started like few years ago during lockdown and I had no fucking clue how a record label worked. It was a lot of work. Um, so Hardwell took it under his label, Revealed. So now it's a sub-label, which is really good. Um, we'll reach more people. We're just going to try and grow as big as possible. I'm trying to change my sound a bit. Yeah. So hopefully that kind of influences the label a bit. Um, we, just, we do parties and stuff as well. I host a little rave in Amsterdam, which he knows about, of course. I do. He's been to Amsterdam. It's amazing. Yeah, I've been to Amsterdam been recently. Amsterdam. Yeah, I was just. Is that still was, part of an NDA? Well, no, I was just basically. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> he's going to try and turn some story here. Um, <laughs> there's not a good story. Um, he's, I was basically just going to Amsterdam to check it out. Just so when I went back to go to Wally's party, yeah. I'd, I'd seen it. So just getting me prepping, you know what I mean? Right, okay. And also that answer that Ollie did there. Great podcasting by me because I knew that exact answer. So I just thought I'd throw a little bit of banter in first. So why did you go so, to Amsterdam though? I'm actually curious. I just I was going away for a couple of days. Is there something happening there? Potentially, who you knows? DJs. Uh, mate, don't worry. There's a conversation coming off this off this record. Well, I, th- I feel like if this didn't okay. come up, we would not have spoken. Well, to well, no. Banter forward. aside, obviously we were going to do. Well, we did. We did. Let's get loose in 2021, and um, it sold out. And then obviously when the company that we're working with. Um, so, sorry, so what happened first was obviously it was 2021 and restrictions changed just before it came to December and it went to the groups of six in the whole of Holland. So obviously Amsterdam didn't go ahead. That trip was cancelled. Uh, the company who we were working with unfortunately went bust. So we then didn't have a partner for that, but we are looking at stuff again. Yes. What is it though? Uh, so it was just a trip across to a different country. Let's get loose in. Yeah. And obviously that was let's get loose in Amsterdam and different venues and different things like that. So yes, we may be looking at stuff like that. And if we are, there's only one man that Let's we're going to speak to. Prices, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, I'm going to combine three questions into one. Yeah. Uh, so give me a, I'm going to like a couple of, couple of pauses here. When are you dropping Big Room EP? When will Music Never Dies ID be released? And when will the movement with W&W be released? Can you talk about any three of those records? The any first three two will, will never, ever, ever come out. The first two will never come out. It's, wow. a, it's a type of music, basically, for those that don't know, that uh, basically made me kind of blow up a little bit. So that's why I got loads of shows. But I hate that sound more than anything. Like, we've all done something when we so were young and we're embarrassed about it. Yeah. It's, but- it's like me trying to do, like, blonde frosted tips now, like... The proper, like, you know, again, it oh, feels no. like it's on me, but he also does it. <laughs> no, I swear that was oh, 100% wasn't. on about it for himself. Swear. And I knew you were on about it for yourself, I but I could see them new going, doesn't Dean still do that every so often? But you don't do it. No, I, I don't. Well, I'm not going to now, am I? <laughs> I also wasn't going to talk about it. I also <laughs> wasn't going to talk. I also wasn't going to talk about the Amsterdam damn thing. That was a bit more of a, a discreet thing, but you've, you've pulled that one out. So then oh, we've, no, uh, we've done that. Back. And yeah. the last one with WW, yeah, it's, um, I don't think it's going to come out either. Okay. With these things, like it's it's like a, a product, right? Like 
a can of Coke or whatever this could be. Right? <laughs> you know what it is. It you needs know, you to stay current, right? People want to still buy it. Like right now with, with songs that there's it's millions a day. So in the corner shop, like there'll be stuff in there that people don't pick up, right? You're not going to order that anymore, though. Yeah. It's the same kind of thing. Like this product that we have is less desirable as time goes. So some of the friends of the, of the pod, um, Shaq, would you do a track with Shaq? Is that something that you've... Yeah, for sure. Dis- do, have you discussed it? Have you... Has it come... We talked about it. Uh, it would be hard for us to get in the studio together, but I think he lives in, in town still, so... Yeah. I would love to do one. Hey, to well, one. after today, we might get you on the pod together. And does, and does that, that... would be fun, though. And does that feel like... Worlds That's me that, sacked again. <laughs> <laughs> does that feel like worlds that are now yeah, meeting? For sure. Yeah, like I, I think... Musically. Uh, yeah, a, a music style called trance, yeah. I think is, is going to be really big. And um, Shaq does a little bit. Ben Hemley's... Ben Hems would you do something with Ben? Do you think that yeah, would... I would love to. I, his stuff's really good. Really, really good. I, I love I love both the boys. Um, but my sound's never been quite there. But yeah. I think now it's all coming. We're all coming together. And I like it. Have you done, because something um, I was talking about the other day, we've had a few MCs on, shout out, Stomping, Tazo, Nato, and it's it's very different, like, in the UK, like, in, and again, you can talk more on this, but in Holland, you almost have an MC with every set, like, it's kind Mm. of like, I've DJed in... I have uh, to say it's a different kind of MC, though. Yeah, it's not, it's not the North East style of, like, MC, like, something, it's more like a hype man, we would, what we would call a hype man, but they they refer to it as an MC, and I've DJed in in, in Amsterdam a few times, and just, they just, they're just on the stage, and even at big festivals, they come on, they welcome the artists, they're, like, constantly, they're, like, is it something that you've played with, like, as in, like, if you've been there and sort of unexpectedly had MCs, just get involved? Well, the thing is, like, I am that MC. The, the sound that I kind of grew up with, like, you've got to realise that, like, the set I play in the Northeast and the set I play in Asia is fucking so different, man. Yeah. In Asia, like, I literally speak Chinese. I learn Chinese. Can you do a little bit? What I need. Can you share me how? Can you can you say, this is my episode of Loose Cast? Uh, no. <laughs> I was going to try. Because if you could have done us like no, a no, Chinese no. trailer, that would have been fucking gonna, insane. And then we'd be worldwide like you. <laughs> I have Chinese fans that if they listen, they'll be like, what a dickhead. <laughs> I, I learned the key phrases like anywhere I play. Like, like put Myanmar. your hands up. Exactly. Like yes. three, two, one. <laughs> San R-E is three, two, one, right? I said that on the mic and pff, I was playing in Wuhan. 20,000 people were just going berserk. Like, so I, I had to learn to be my own. And then I played at Loose Fest. And I don't know who was emceeing with me. I think it might have been... Being Luke? I don't think it was. Was it not Luke? Someone else. And I just shit myself because I'm used to the eyes being on me mm. and the eyes were on him. Everything was about him. So I was working for him and I just... It took us like, I would say five, because I only had a half an hour set. It took us 10 minutes to understand how... Only half an hour. Even that just seems like a dig, I doesn't it? And, it, and, it, and it even if it didn't, it. even if it didn't, him going, only a half an hour set! <laughs> Fucking hell, boys. Swap, to be fair. Like, I, me, me mum and dad were there, so I needed to, like, look good for them, and I did. But the thing is, like, I'm used and to... And I put it on my story. Did you? Yeah, you got, like, one follower or something. I think it was my yeah. dad following yeah. you after that. <laughs> yeah. So you're welcome. That's one. Shout exactly. out to Sue and Steve, who liked 78 posts on Instagram Steve. today. Like, but this. I don't think that's a good thing. I think that's a bad thing, that Why? they're basically behind it, because they should be liking them when they come out, not going, oh, we'll just log on now and do them all at once. <laughs> I think that's pure form. That's pure form. That by my mum and dad. Like no one's on the phone as much as you. I mean, the committee chat does bang, so I need to be very active. You see, you're muted. Um, <laughs> right, so let's shout out before you go. Where can people in the UK see it, um, and especially the northeast? I think you've got. If you got, are you doing? I've got. I've got to be careful what I say here. Okay, I've got one of the best festivals in Newcastle I'm playing that I like how he said one obviously he's, he's that, there that, you, that shows how much yeah. of a friend I am right hey. so hey. I'm playing at Lost Minds yeah uh, which is sick it's, it's getting bigger and bigger every year I'm really excited about that and how far have you moved up the lineup because last time because <laughs> I, I, well, I, I, I was on first yeah. and then you came on second and I've got a funny feeling you've gone a little bit higher up the lineup this year each year I go up one <laughs> each year I go up one but the thing is right come on Barry your pictures looked Fucking sick. How many people did you play to? I was 12. And it looked mint. <laughs> and you were like this. And I know when you were doing that, you were literally just pointing the sky. And I've been there, mate. I've been there. But it looked mint. And honestly, are, are you there this year or not? No. 
No, I think, man, I've, come on. think I've moved out of that bracket. But I might try and move back in. You never know. It's music in it. Do you know what I mean? Is, Shit yeah, can yeah, happen. Yeah. Lock a little can, bit more classic lock, now. Lock can, lot lot can change it. Well, I don't know. House, house you might, guy, right? might change your mind we when you hear uh, a few, few new things coming up. We won't just reveal everything like we did with Amsterdam. Thanks for that, lads. But we'll have a conversation. We'll have a conversation about Loose Fest after as well, boys. So you're oh, doing Lost Minds. Lost Minds. And Ben Hemsey. So it's a, it's a massive homecoming uh, lineup for the fucking yeah, North East, really. Well, he's, I think he's on a, I don't know what stage he's on though. Like I, th- I feel like he has his own stage and Ben Nicky's on the other stage. Right. Well, so I'm on like the... Ge- the genuinely, road. we'll just leave it as this, but obviously we're recording today. On he just, Tuesday. he's like, he's like, I want to talk about Lucifer. Oh no, because he was going to say, he was going to say it. No, because he was going to say yeah, that. Dad actually and, said, "What's happening?" Yeah, well, I, well, it would have been announced by now. Well, obviously, everything is a little bit later this year because of the cancellation last year, so everything took a little bit later. But we're recording today on the Tuesday, so anyone listening or watching the NATO episode will have just gone out. Great episode by you. Well, yes, I. <laughs> yes, um, anyone listening or watching it have been seven days. Yeah, so this will be out in seven days' time. And I believe, <laughs> I believe the Loose Fest announcement, the first Loose Fest announcement will have been yesterday. The question so, is, though, am I playing? Is he playing? The question is. The am question, I playing? The question is. Am I fucking playing? Is there a rock tent? You'll is, know by I'm, next week. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, how this works is you get contacted months before it gets announced to see like if you're going to play and stuff. But I think I might be a late addition. But I might be playing Loose Fest as well. Who knows? If There's I more am, announcements coming. Don't worry. If I am, you will honestly. Look. There's always Come a phase three. Set. Do you know what I mean? And if you, <laughs> if you saw if you saw the Loose Fest announcement yesterday and you were like, "Wow, that's absolutely incredible!" But where's Ollie James? Don't Is worry. There's more coming. There's more coming. <laughs> right, mate. Thank you very much for coming in. Uh, hopefully, you'll be back again soon to uh, rinse back, Dean. Yeah. Thanks, Ollie. Cheers, boys. <laughs> <laughs>